Hi, Deirdre McNamara here. Um, this is the second uh, video showing talking about tables. Um, so the first thing I'll do is insert uh, a table. So I move to the Insert tab, click on Tables. Um, now this one here is stopping. It won't allow me insert by clicking and dragging any more than eight um, rows. So I'm going to click on the Insert Table option down the bottom, and I'm going to put in um, three columns and maybe 12 rows, and click on OK and that inserts a table of that um, many rows and columns. So the first thing I want to take a look at doing is using some of the um, formatting styles that are available within Microsoft Word. So when you insert a table, it automatically takes you to the Design tab. So make sure that your cursor is flashing at you inside the table and you can see the Design and the Layout tab. The minute you leave the table and click outside it, you'll notice the Design and the Layout tab disappear. So when you click back into the table, they're available again to you. So if you hold your mouse slowly over these um, different st table styles that are available, you can see how your table might be formatted. And if you click on this drop down option here, you can see a variety of table styles um, that might be available. So for example, I could choose that one there. Uh, in this case, we're going to have a look at doing it manually. So I'm going to hit the undo button to bring it back to a plain table. Okay, the first thing we're going to take a look at doing um, is changing the border on this table. So I'm going to click on the Design tab. I'm going to click on the Draw Table button up here. And my mouse now turns into a, a pencil. Um, a plain line has been selected here. So I'm going to change that to choosing maybe a triple line. I'm going to say that it's a thick. So this one here is the weight of the line. I'm going to make it a thick triple line. I'm going to change the color of it. So it's going to be a red, thick, triple line. Now, normally I draw on top of the existing lines. If I click and drag across a an existing line, the line goes light grey, and when I let go, it changes into the format I've just selected. So for example, if I want to go around the edge, those dashed lines mean you're creating new lines. If I don't let go and go back onto the existing line, it turns light grey, and I let go, and it means I'm just changing the border style of an existing line. So I'm just going to go around this table and put on a fancy border uh, on the edge. Now to bring my mouse back to normal, I click again on the draw table button and that brings my mouse back to normal. So that's looking at doing um, borders. The next thing we'll take a look at doing is um, looking at merging cells. So if I click and drag, for example, three cells there, so I'm clicking with my left mouse button and dragging across three cells. And then I go to the layout tab. And in here, I have the merge cells option here. So if I click on merge cells, this now becomes one big cell. So for example, I could select those three there and merge. Select and merge. And select and merge. Now if I type into these cells, for example, if I type in, um, I don't know, the letter or table, you'll notice that the text appears in the top left hand corner. There are nine different positions uh, in a table. And on the Layout tab, you can decide which of the positions you want to choose. So here are the nine different positions. So for example, this one here is bottom right-hand corner. And you'll notice the table now moves over to the bottom right. Uh, this is top right, the center of the table in all directions, center of the table in terms of from top to bottom, but on the left-hand side in terms of right to left. So there's a variety of uh, positions within the table. The next thing we might want to do is to change the shading. So I'm going to select all of this column here. I can click and drag like that, or I can move up into the um, space above the table and click with the black mouse. So I've selected that uh, particular column. I go to the Design tab, and up here with the Paint Can is where I change the shading. So in here, I'm going to, for example, place a particular shading on, like light blue. And maybe I'll select um, these ones here and put on some other sort of form of shading. And again, you can work your way through the table that way. Okay, so we've looked at shading. Um, the next thing you might want to take a look at doing um, is adding in additional lines. So again, on the Design tab, we click on Draw Table. My mouse at this stage is drawing triple red lines, so I need to go back to a plain line. Um, I need to choose the weight of the plane line, and I need to choose the color of the plane line. So I'm going to stick with black. So I can click and drag and create new lines 
within my table for one particular row. Okay, this is the end of the second video on tables in Microsoft Word 2010.